Good morning, y'all. Wake up. Hey, God bless y'all. Uh, y'all keep on waking up, taking y'all time. <clears throat> Each and every single day a blessing. And sometimes it's a burden. Uh, but the earth keep on spinning until it until the Lord calls it to stop. Life continues. It goes on. It's hard. Life really hard sometimes, man. You know? <laughs> Uh, y'all appreciate the people that's around y'all. Appreciate the people that have been in your life. Uh, y'all keep on breathing easy. Uh, take the good with the bad because life comes with so much angles that things be unexpected. Nobody's never prepared for this or prepared for that. And you don't know what's around the corner. But you keep on waking up, doing the best you can. Uh, keep on breathing, man. All right. To the Lord call us home. Uh, all glory, honor, and praise go, go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Amen. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Uh, whatever today is, Monday. Today, Monday. Uh, don't nobody talk to me. No. Yeah, I have a sense of him still. Monday, May 15. Uh, Monday, May 15, 5.48 a.m. Uh, 2023. Y'all, uh, past a uh, few days, like, stuff, uh, sometimes you gotta sit back and think sometimes. Uh, uh, it's a time for everything the Bible says. Uh, first of all, uh, to the people who, the Happy Mother's Day thing, I don't really get into the holiday things when I just, Every day, Mother's Day, uh, should be every day, Mother's Day, to the woman who help hold it down. To the females who take care of y'all children, y'all stick by y'all kids, man. That's the number one job. It ain't, it ain't nothing more important in the world than making sure your kids are, you hear me? Nothing more important in the world. If you got to get up and go to work, that's cool, too. I respect the hell out of that for all the women who get up and go to work. You shouldn't have to get up and go to work if you got a man around but if uh, you got a situation and you get up and go to work and eat at home, cool, y'all cool with the kids being there, that's cool. You know, I respect that too. Cause, I mean, some people play it out like that. But to the females who are around, God bless y'all. To the fathers who are around, God bless y'all. You see what I'm saying? Uh, every day, Father's Day, Brother's Day, Uncle Day, Aunt Day, Grandma's Day, every day a day. You know what I mean? To the people who here, uh, to the people who gone, y'all remember them. Hey. I know life hard. Hmm? Life always feel a little bit empty when people not there, uh, especially certain people you can't replace. I'm telling y'all, remember the, the good people because you don't get good people around. The people who actually stand out, you don't get too many people who stand out. Or a lot of people blend in. You know what I mean? Nobody perfect, but uh, y'all remember them people. Uh, it's all good because uh, you don't get them no more. Uh, that's all right. <clears throat> you know, life hurt, people gone. But uh, think about this. Uh, let me go to Paul. Let me go to this real quick. Go to Philippians. And God bless y'all, man. Y'all keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. Hope the Holy Spirit comfort y'all. Uh, down this place down here. It get a little hard sometimes, you know. Uh, if I can find... I got right or something. Y'all better with me though. Y'all better with me. Uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Paul said, uh, Rejoice in the Lord always. Uh, I said again, uh, Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. Uh, the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God uh, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. It ain't going to make sense how God going to cover your heart in the, in the midst of a situation. I, I ask myself, I look at myself sometimes. And I know it ain't nothing but the Lord. Yeah? Because in situations where your heart will be broke sometimes. But present your uh, request to the Lord. 
In every situation, my prayer uh, and petition for thanksgiving presents your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. This is it right here. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put in practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. Paul said, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, pure, lovely, and admirable, excellent or praiseworthy. Think about such things. Something I like to, something I like to think about and a lot of tough times, Joe, and stuff going on. One of the toughest things people got to deal with is death, bro. That's the last enemy. We go through things. There's some tough things to deal with in life. Uh, people get hurt, uh, uh, pain, uh, prison. Uh, there's some things on earth that hurt. But the number one thing and the strongest thing that hurt over everything is death. Because you can, you can, you can, you can come back from almost anything except death, man. You see what I'm saying? That y'all hurt, bro. <clears throat> that's the that's our last enemy. That uh, that's our last battle, you hear me? And even with that battle, it's a battle that's already been won, babe. You hear me? Paul, Paul said, think about something that's excellent and praiseworthy, the truth to the people. You'd be surprised who know the Lord and who saved, bro. I'm telling you. You'd be surprised who know the Lord and who saved. And you'd be surprised who God showed favor to let in the dough, man. Uh, on a better note, to the people who are saved uh, and go through things. Paul said, think about think about such things. The people y'all remember the people who gone. Uh, and I know it hurt. <laughs> Something that's excellent and praiseworthy is they ain't gotta wake up in this cold world no more, bro. <laughs> ain't no more that three or four o'clock early in the morning getting up trying to make a grind. You know what I mean? Telling you. <laughs> uh, uh, it's people who they in a better place, bro. Dumb. I like to think about that. Ain't no more suffering down here. Ain't no more going through it down here. Ain't no more. Ain't no more pain on the other side. I'm telling you, they in a glorious place. We we go through it down here. We might be crying down here, but it's ain't no more rejoicing on the other side. Especially if you know the Lord. You hear me? All things work out for those who know the Lord. I'm telling you. And a lot of people not perfect, bro. You'd be surprised who. I'm telling you, because people think you're supposed to be. Perfect down here. Nah, ain't nobody perfect, bro. You read your Bible. It's a whole Bible of people who lived a life that was not too glamorous to be talked about. <laughs> but God was still merciful to them people. I love to think about such things like that. We get caught up down here sometimes, ripping and running, living life, trying to do this and do that. And we end up missing out on a whole lot of stuff. And, you know, life's short, bro. You never know when it's our time to go or this and that or whatever. And it can hurt sometimes. I like uh, watching the Rifleman, man, because life go on sometimes, man. You know, life go on, you know. Uh, we get lost down here. Sometimes life will hit. And er everybody got something that life will hit them at and it'll bring them to a pause. I don't care who you is, bro. Everybody got something that's, that's, that has somebody around that life hit them and it'll bring them to a pause, bro. You hear me? Uh, or it just, uh, you ain't went through it yet. But for the people who are going through it, man, y'all... If somebody around y'all appreciate the people God put in y'all life and y'all stick around people, y'all see somebody going through it, go stick with them day or night. <laughs> whatever whatever it takes to get them through it, <laughs> stay by them. <clears throat> All right? Don't leave they sad. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul said, think about things that's excellent and praiseworthy. Mm -hmm. Revelation 21, verse 1, uh, John the Revelator said, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Huh? Revelation 21, verse 1, John the Revelator wrote, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. <clears throat> For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven. Uh, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard, and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, "Look, 
God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he would dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be their God, will, will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> right now, so a lot of, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. The Lord himself said he's going to wipe away every tear from the people's eyes. Bro. There's some people on the other side of the path. He's doing that for them. All right, I'm telling you. Uh, he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death for the people who went to the other side. We go through it down here, babe. The last the last enemy we got to go through is death down here. And once we face death, huh, what more can they do to us down here? You hear me? <laughs> no more death. No more mourning. No more crying. They not crying on the other side, babe. Uh, they ain't mourning on the other side. No more pain. You know, we got pain in our body down here. <laughs> I don't know. Some people don't body hurt. My body hurt, bro. I got my leg hurt every day, bro. People, some people got surge and this and that. Or some, my heart go out to the people, to them kids I see on the, the children drunk in the morning time. It's a blessing for the people. Who, uh, <clears throat> life hard, bro. Uh, yeah, I appreciate the uh, people. You might not got money or this and that or whatever, but if you got a healthy body, bro, I'm telling you, you got a lot to be thankful for. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Them little kids got pain in their body, bro, that y'all don't even know. I'm telling you, people wake up because they ain't got money with this and that, cars and clothes and crying over BS stuff, bro. It's kids that got real pain in their body every day, bro. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but even that... <laughs> When death, when death hit, no more pain, babe. <laughs> Ain't no more crying, pain in the body. We go through things down here. <clears throat> you see? But it's all good, though. Y'all bear with me. Right. Paul said, think about things that's excellent and praiseworthy. You know? For the people who passed away on the other side, they ain't waking up with no pain no more, babe. <laughs> the world can't do nothing else to them no more. <laughs> they not suck. <laughs> I love to think about that. <laughs> Hopefully the Lord let them into the gates <laughs> in a glorious place. You hear me? They ain't got to wake up 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning no more. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I don't even know if they going to sleep. <laughs> the, way, the, way, the way it's going on up there. <laughs> it's, it's glorious, baby. I'm telling you. Can't nobody do nothing to them. Ain't no more bills. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get you. They try to get us down here any way they can, bro. They try to get us all the time. <laughs> From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, they try to get us, bro. <laughs> you know, life hard. You go through things down here, but it's all good. <clears throat> and it's a new place coming up, bro. Uh, he said, uh, Verse 5 said, he who's sitting on the throne said, I'm making everything new. God going to make everything new one day, babe. You hear me? The, thing, the pain and stuff that we go through down here, it ain't going to be worth being compared to, man. I'm telling you, one day. We're going to see our people again. Right up. For the people who, I don't like to think the other way, because for the people who ain't saved. But bless, y'all. that's why I talk to the people. Y'all talk, y'all, you'd be surprised who's saved, man. And who the Lord have mercy on. You see what I'm saying? For the to the people who don't know, I hope God have mercy on, on all the people who on the whole world if he can. For the people who ignorant and stuff or whatever. But uh for the people who know the Lord, bro, we're gonna see them again. Don't worry about it. All right. I know I heard on this side, but think about the good things, bro. They ain't in this place where we in no more. I hurt down here. It. it don't hurt on the other side, bro. You hear I love that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I love that so much. Um, <clears throat> they got a new body. <laughs> yeah, they got a new body. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you. I want to keep going, but uh, well, something I was going to read. Uh, I said, uh, yeah, I could read that. Paul said, think about excellent things. That's praiseworthy and true. Uh, First Corinthians chapter 15 uh, verse 51, Paul said, uh, listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will, but we will all be changed in a, in a flash, 
in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet will sound the dead will be raised imperishable the dead will be raised imperishable and we will be changed uh, for that, for the perishable must clothe, must clothe itself with, with the imperishable, uh, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the, and the mortal with immortality, then a saying that is written will come true. Uh, death has been swallowed up in victory. You see, uh, world death is your victory. World death is your sting. The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, Amen. He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I love that. <laughs> Therefore, my brothers and sisters, stand firm. Y'all keep on standing. Don't let nothing move, y'all. You hear me? <clears throat> Don't let nothing move, y'all. We come in this world naked. We going out this world naked. Don't let nothing move, y'all. You know, God going to make everything all right one day. You hear me? And even in the, the storm, Jesus give us peace in the middle of a storm. You hear me? I was, I was about to write something the other day about an anchor or whatever. It's something special about an anchor on, on the ship. Like when, and the people in the middle of that storm, they, they drop that anchor down. Jesus our anchor. When stuff going on, drop down on Jesus. He going to hold you down. Amen. Uh, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that the, that, that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. <clears throat> y'all forgive me, y'all. Uh, so y'all keep on thinking about excellent things, praiseworthy and true. We go through things down here. Uh, things hurt. Life hurt. Uh, for the young people, y'all, <clears throat> y'all, uh, it's a lot of other people who saved, and a lot of people, uh, you know, people don't talk as much. You'd be surprised who saved up, bro, or whatever. And I, I like that, like, where a lot of people get caught up living life and stuff. And it happens, you know. Nobody perfect down here. The Lord said, <clears throat> let your light shine. In the world we live in, you know, sometimes it ain't too cool. People, I don't know, some, some fun, bro. A lot of people don't get to know people. Like, be honest with you. A lot of people don't get to talk to nobody. So y'all get to talk to people, be surprised, like, uh, where? Uh, but anyway, that's on another note. Y'all talk to people and tell the people as much as y'all can about the Lord, especially the younger people, man. Uh, before one day we all got to go on, you see what I'm saying? Because the earth keep on spinning. Uh, we do we do the best we can down here. Any way we can, you know? And some people, bro, I don't care. You could be a janitor. So I'm telling you, bro. Like, well, I'm telling you, bro. God have people... I love the fact that God had people out in the world. You know what I mean? In various places, doing I'm telling you, bro, doing various things. Be doing anything, teaching in school, anything. Every now and then, talk to tell somebody, tell tell the people, yo, tell me. That's what He got you here for. Cause we all gotta go home one day, <clears throat> all right? We all go through something. Everybody's situation be different, but uh, you got you around. You got people around. Uh, Help somebody else out, cause I'm telling you, uh, that's what this. Everybody got something going on. Um, I'm telling you, uh, but it's alright. Y'all gonna get through it. And Lord Jesus gonna see y'all through. Y'all keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He gonna give it to you. Amen. I'm getting off here. It's the Holy Spirit leading y'all to Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus gonna lead us to be on our Father in heaven one day. Hallelujah. And get up out of here. Amen. Till then, y'all keep on taking y'all time, man. Do the best y'all can. Yeah, y'all keep on breathing, bro. You know what I mean? Damn. I love y'all. Y'all st stick with the people who God got around y'all. Amen? May God bless y'all. Give y'all everything y'all need to help get y'all through each and every single day. Amen.